J.D. Martinez almost won a triple crown this year. To not have him in the top three shows no. you that the, the writers are just as drunk on analytics it's as the front offices. It's a, how do you watch that season and not think he deserves, even if you want bets more? Now, what probably works to the Red Sox advantage and ultimately bets is if, if J.D. Martinez is there, it splits the vote and could give it to... Because who, who is it's Mookie Betts. No, Mookie, it was Mookie and, Betts. And Tra Ramirez. So Ramirez might win the MVP just because they would split the vote. Mookie would win it. Mookie's going to win it. Even Mookie if J.D. Martinez was there, you don't think he could split well, the mean, vote? Well, I mean, J.D. Martinez, this is just the final three. The, they finished in the top three. I'm sure J.D. Martinez was fourth. So I'm sure he took some votes. But they don't split votes because, I mean, that's always a misconception. Each city has only two voters. So if you split those two voters, every other American League city... That's 14 other cities have two other voters, so there's 28 other votes. They're not going to split all of them. I, if you watch them play all the time, only two guys vote from Boston. I cannot have a guy that hit for that kind of batting average with those home runs on a team that won 108 games and give it to, to Mike he Trout, who was on a, 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 an average baseball and team should, best. And, and again, his war is higher than J.D. Martinez. I'll give you that. But my point of contention is this. As Don said, they won 108 games. World Series doesn't count because the vote is in after the final game. How is J.D. Martinez well, not more valuable? A Red Sox team that couldn't get out of the first round of the playoffs last year. They right. bring in Martinez, a team that didn't hit home runs in 2017. Now all of a sudden became a home run inning team. How is he not more valuable than Mike Trout to the this. Angels? Stop it with the analytics blindly following and them. The, and nothing irritates me more than war. Because nobody ever goes over what to the ticket office for? to Absolutely say, nothing. I want to watch that player that's got the best war in the American League. What, what was Trout's war? Do you know? I can tell you. I, I think it's around 10. All right. And what was J.D. Martinez's war? I can tell you. Eight? What is good for? See, when I look at D Jacob DeGrom and I look at his earn-run average and look at how much better it was than Max Scherzer or Aaron Nola's, I say to myself, you know what? He deserves it. But war... If you're telling me Trouts is a 10 and J.D. J. Martinez is a 7 or an 8, it's, it's a lousy 2-3 games. That's going to be the difference of winning the MVP? Because guess what? Those 2-3 games didn't mean anything to the Angels. They were average. Those 2-3 games might have been the difference of the Red Sox winning the division. I'm amazed. I'm, I am amazed. What if, I can't find it right now. I, I, I can't imagine that it could be that big of a difference. If you're telling me it's a 10... If J.D. Well, Martinez Mike is a Trout zero... Has, has, like, the highest war of all time uh, but this, for but someone this, his But age. this season, I'd like to, I'd like to, to, to see what the, um, what the war was. Okay, let's see. A stat that's so important that it takes an hour to find it on, on baseballreference.com. God, these, the analytics drive me crazy. All right. It's going it's gonna to kill the his sport. His war dead. this year is 10... Point two, which is outstanding. Oh, so what was Martinez? I'm going to tell you right now. Because we're talking about, uh, it's probably it's somewhere close. Well, we'll tell you, right? That's all we can do is tell you. That's all you can do. 6.4. Hmm. But again. So less than four. He, so what they're saying is Trout can win you four more games than Martinez can over 162 but you, but games. You, also, you know what War doesn't show you? The protection that Martinez gave everybody else in that lineup. That doesn't get calculated. How about, how about this, all right? Now, you can say that right. Trout is a, a, is a plus plus defender and J.D. Martinez no, no, is a no, negative. No, but wait. Let's, let's, let's uh, talk That's rationally. That's where he loses the war battle. Talk rationally, all right? To the analytic guys, take your visor off, put the calculator on the shelf, all right? And your computer, shut, um, control alt delete for a second for me, all right? You got your little war stat. You get all excited over. This Red Sox team couldn't get out of the first round. Would they win 90 what games last year? I don't know, but they, right? they won the division. JD Martinez on the team wins a World Series and they win the they win the division going away. Doesn't that tell you right there? Instead of all the stats, they add JD Martinez and look how much better the team became. That's where most valuable player comes into. Way more wins. I gotta look up to see the, he, the, the he wins. He loses the war battle because he doesn't play defense. That's it. 
So then, so so if if you're not a good defender, then you shouldn't be in the MVP conversation. Uh, a lot of people eliminate. That's why there's Despite no the DH in the Hall of Fame, which is a joke. Edgar Martinez should be in the Hall of Fame. Despite the fact that his offense was just like through the roof. Absolutely, they they play that game. He's a DH, which I think is offensive, because you know what? All right. His job is to hit, so, and he's pretty darn valuable so, as a hitter. So the Red Sox win 93 games last year. And they go They add J.D. More. Martinez. They win 15 more games. Now, I realize the postseason doesn't matter. Right, so the fact count. that they got him to the World Series, but it tells you the value that they add him, all right, and they win 15 more games. Now, I'm not saying he should win it. Mookie Betts should win it. But you're going to give me a guy that's still on an average team? I understand... I understand if you want to say who's the best player. Maybe that's what they need to do, Michael, is they have an MVP and then they have the, the best player award. But then they would tell you war is wins above replacement. So if you give 10 more wins than any replacement level player, you're more valuable than and, and a guy also, who six. Can you, can you give me this? And if the analytic people want to go after me, fine. I don't care. It's still theoretical. It's a theoretical wins over replacement. All right. Right. It's, it, it's RBIs, it's home runs. It's not two plus two those, equals four. Those, those are tangible. And, and stats. to tell you how theoretical it is, one company's war is different than the next. Oh, I've seen that. Right. Because ESPN will have a different war. Right. Amazing. Amazing. I'm not saying he's, I, I think the winner is Mookie Betts, but that he's not in the top three shows you how addicted people are to these numbers. Oh, Rather than give give the guy credit, he's the difference in the Red Sox. They're trying to be cute. They're trying. They're that. No, they're, they're trying to be smarter than everybody they're, they're, else. They're the judge in a boxing match that always goes with the other guy because he sees the he sees the fight different than everybody else because he's smarter than everybody else. Stop yourself already. Well